guys. So last video, I made some little cash register receipt uh, notepads. And I said in the video that this little portion that we cut the bit of book page off to keep it and we'd make something in the next video. So um, these are just the bit of the book page that I ripped out. It's still got the glue attached and I had used the other side. If you didn't see that video, it's the one before this, but I'll put the link in the comments box below. Anyway, the ones I had were wider than this. This is from a different project, but I just kept that so you remembered what I meant. Um, so this was the width of the other ones in that video. And all I did is I painted the top pages. I left the back of it book page. And when I say painted, <laughs> I mean I just um, brushed on some, where is it? I think it was this one I used. This is just Bunnings Mist Tint paint. So this came in a huge tub and I've just poured some into a mayonnaise bottle <laughs> so I can easily use it. But um, if you've been with my channel for a while, you know... I use any paint so Bunnings is our hardware here in Australia and they have they're called mist tints um, little pots or sample pots um, if they if they mix the color wrong they just put like one dollar two dollars I mean you can get like big tubs three dollars that's probably the most the highest price I've seen like three dollars but anyway if they're um, a chalky one I always pick them up because they're really good to use so they've got like a primer already in it so they have that chalky feel like gesso and um, it's just a cheap paint option and uh, actually I prefer this over gesso because it's got that really nice chalky feel to it and it gives really good coverage as well anyway so I had, I think I had five or six of these and I just lined them up and I did one page, the top page, by the time I got back to the first, it's pretty warm here in Australia at the moment, so that was dry <laughs> and then I just did the next page, page by page, painted them all. Okay, um, this was still glued together because I had ripped the pages out of the book, like this one, so I just did a small zigzag stitch down the side and i popped in a teeny tiny eyelet which i had trouble setting i think i got it in the end um and then you've got a little booklet now from with that i then made some little envelopes and i'll show you some finished ones and i just made some little uh seahorse envelope thingies i don't know <laughs> Um, just to stick into your journals and I'll make one with you actually so if you want you can make some I mean it doesn't have to be a seahorse obviously <laughs> any stamp I just wanted to do super quick and easy that's what I like um, using up junk so this is an envelope uh, that had already been used my husband's work um, saves them for me and I just used some ink. I did cover the inside with um, some paper, ink the edges, put some ink on the front page. All the inside is just blank. I've just popped a bit of uh, chain and this one's got a little bead. I thought they'd be cute, cute for little, uh, I don't know, ocean themed journals or something like that. That's one. Of course, I've made them grungy. <laughs> um, this one's got a little starfish. But I really like how they turned out. I don't know if you can see. Is it too bright or too dark? I don't know which is better. Maybe off. Is that better? I don't know. Oh gosh, on, off, on, off. Okay, this one also has a little um, starfish. 
Oh, this one I did very inky. Look how yum that looks. Actually, I will turn it off. Is that better? I don't know. I can't tell now. It's night time and <laughs> I've got uh, bright light vision now. Anyway, that's that one. And this one, I put a, just a little um, glass bead on it as well. And I just thought they'd be cute to um, glue into a journal. So I would just glue that down. And um, I think the first one I did... Oh no, I must have covered it, did I? Oh, this one. Yeah, the first one I cut the envelope um, the same length at the back as was as the front. But then I thought, um, no, I'd like to actually glue these down and just, I don't know. I thought it was better if the back was a little higher, if you know what I mean. So I added a bit... Um, so this one I will glue down, but the rest, you could even leave it as a floating pocket. Anyway, I just thought they were kind of cute. So I'll show you how I quickly did them. Oh gosh, look at my craft mat on camera. <laughs> it looks, everything look, looks worse on camera for some reason. Okay. So... That's that. Where's all I used was um, some used envelopes. So these ones, they've been torn open. Um, I coffee dyed a whole bunch of these ages ago, and I've been using them for I don't know all little things. I put um, um, little. I make little envelopes like this. I make little pockets. Um, I embellish them when I send out my Etsy orders sometimes I'll embellish one and put little freebies in or I don't know I just use them for everything in happy mouths anyway so all I did okay I don't know where my rotary cut has gone which is kind of bugging me it's <laughs> it's lost in the mess on my desk if you could see outside <laughs> of the camera view it's so bad Anyway, so look, this is pretty easy, I know, but I'll just show you what I did. You probably have an easier way. Anyway, this is about one and a half centimetres there. So I thought I would make them the same um, size on both sides, but I did a little overhang so I could fold it over to close it um, just to give it the edge a bit of a better finish. So I did the original one and a half centimetres um, and I think I just did about a one centimetre overlap I think. Was it one? Yeah. One. Okay so I'm just going to make this about two and a half centimetres wide on this side which is good because it just misses all the writing. Oops. Think that moved but that's okay now i didn't really measure <laughs> anything when i did these so and i did them really rough and ready because they're for junk journals who cares okay so you'll be left with this if you find it easier you can lift the sides of the envelope and open it up flat but um i just kept it kept this side shut just because i'm I'm lazy. It's already closed. <laughs> Why do I want to open it? Okay. I didn't measure. I just was like, okay, this is going to go down to the bottom. And I want my um, top of my little envelope, this little bit, just a little bit higher. So I'm going to cut it about here. You can measure and make these precise if you want of course i'm gonna keep this you know i'm gonna keep that you can stamp on little coffee dyed paper scraps like that to make little clusters and stuff okay so then you've got this um 
Now I just cut it down this closed side. I did mine just under the eyelet. I mean, you I won't give measurements anyway because if if you did make some, if you've got these little bookie scraps, you can um or even if you're not, even if you're just making envelopes, um, you can do whatever size. It doesn't matter. I mean, often I just make these little into little coin envelopes like that because they're quite cute. Or you can do side tucks. Anyway, so for the ones I made, I just um, did the fold just under the eyelet. So I'm going to... I'm just going to use my knife <laughs> and just bring it down to a bit under the eyelet. Is that enough? Maybe a notch more. Okay. Then I just folded that bit over. So that's what you're left with. So you, you've got that little bit. Oops. Ooh, it's getting cold. Now I kept that little bit on and I just glued it down. Let me move my ruler. Okay. So then you've got this. Now, on the open side, I've cut the bottom down here about a centimetre, and that's the bit that's going to fold over the back. So, just slip that about a centimetre. Now, this, <laughs> this is the bit that I probably would suggest measuring, because... A few of mine, I think this is actually one of them. The bottom is a little bit more narrow than the top. Yeah. Oh, this one, just a smidge. But look, I don't measure, just look and chop. Now this side, it doesn't matter if it's a bit wonky because you're going to fold that front bit over anyway. Sorry, so this is what I've got at the moment. Just the open bit and this bit I've folded over. Um, you don't have to fold that. I just folded it so I can see where I'm cutting because I'm really blind. I can't even really see the fold mark. <laughs> Yeah, see, I've gone wonky off the track. Okay. Ditch that. Now, I have um, just rounded the corners a little there. I'm going to round this little bit. Oop, my glue's not quite dry there. Let me get rid of this now. And then just fold that over and glue him down. Don't glue him yet. I kept doing this actually while I was making the others. If you don't mind the uh, inside of the envelope, you can leave it like that. But I um I covered mine because all of mine seemed to be that ugly blue pattern, which is fine on some things, but I didn't think it suited this. Now I've just got this little scrap of paper. This was um. 
a large ugly scrapbook page it was all green the green was nice but it had this <laughs> this picture on the side which was a bit ugly so i had coffee dyed a whole bunch of scrapbook papers um a while back i don't use scrapbook paper um i don't buy it and i don't use it i did find a few um books in a i think four or five um books in an op shop one time and um someone mentioned they look like they were originally from audi supermarket i'm not sure but um i probably got those maybe three four years ago and i'm i've still got them all i just don't use it i i don't know it's just not my thing anyway they were blank on the back so i coffee dyed them and i've been using them here there and everywhere but these had a nice uh the nice green pattern so i thought that'll go okay with my little envelope so i'm left with this and i will use that for something somewhere <laughs> anyway so i just glued that down now this leftover scrap you can see is a bit short but that doesn't matter because you know, just bring it up a little because you want you can't see all the way to the bottom anyway as long as your little window is covered i suppose anyway so i'm just going to glue this baby in i really need to get um a longer thing to sit my camera on or my phone on I feel like <laughs> when I craft, I can't see. Um, if I lean forward, my big head's going to be on camera. Okay. This, I'm just, it's just PVA glue. It says craft glue on there, but I've refilled it with PVA. And... You can use a glue stick. I, I did do the first one with a glue stick, I think, but um, it was too hard to position my little paper. It kept sticking like to the bottom and I couldn't get the page in. Where's my... Okay. So you can see this isn't even all the way to the edge. I missed a spot. Yeah, I've been refilling this bottle because it's got a fine tip. It's, it's really good. Okay. See, see, my paper doesn't come all the way to the edge, but it doesn't matter. And it doesn't go all the way to the bottom now. But who cares? You're going to fold this over anyway. Okay. The other thing I kept forgetting, I kept forgetting to ink this top edge before I glued it down, which was quite annoying. Actually, don't ink it yet. Unless you want to leave it coffee dyed. Um, whoops. <laughs> On my uh, shelf above here, I've got all these stupid little sticky things that I use in collage and places. Look, this was off the top of a cotton reel barcode. <laughs> Seriously, it's ridiculous. And every now and then they fall down. <laughs> oh gosh, honestly. Yeah, if you're new to my uh, channel, I'm a bit of a, um, a junker. <laughs> I don't buy new craft supplies. I just like to recycle. That's the joy of it for me. That's like, that's what I get pleasure out of. I don't even know if it's so much the crafting as it is the recycling. Okay, so I just rounded the corners. Now, um... The way I coloured mine, I think I 
started one with watercolour, but um, it was too much fuss, so I just did the old um, acrylic block. This is for large stamps, and I just wish some, what is this? I can't read it. Evergreen something. I can't read it. I don't know if that's going to focus. And on the bottom, uh, vintage, I think I use vintage photo. I can't remember. This is a, I made the others a few days ago and I left one to uh, do with you on camera. And of course, I left my water bottle inside. Yeah, so sometimes I forget how I did it by the time I go back to it. Um, okay, let me use dirty paintbrush water. Oh, yeah. I shouldn't have touched the bottom. I I use the same thing of water um, for paint and glue. I know, you're not supposed to, but I do. Anyway, so I just um, smushed on some water and distress ink. I don't know if that's going to make a difference now. And then I just dipped it in. Actually, you know what I've forgotten here? To stamp it. Now, what I found on the uh, coffee dyed envelope, it looks a lot darker than it actually is. Um, once it dries, it lightens up heaps. So if you don't want it too dark, don't worry. It'll um, lighten up a lot once it dries. And I just smushed it in and in a bit of the vintage photo. That was a bit too much for my liking. So it looks a little <laughs> ugly there. Actually, I do remember now, I did um, glue my paper underneath after I had already inked the front. Look at my little labels falling down everywhere. I need a better system. Okay, and chuck that aside to dry. Now, I did the same with my um, little booklet. Where's my stamp? I'm using um, Stays On because it's permanent and it won't run once I dip this in the ink and water where do I want it about there okay then when this is dry, just do the same thing that you did with this. Just mush, mush, mush it on. Okay. So I've got another one here that um, isn't finished. So this one I haven't put the paper in yet. But um, once I do, I'll just do the same thing. I'll glue that around the corners. And that's it. And pop my little booklet in. Sorry, that was probably the worst tutorial ever. But um, I do really, really like using up rubbish like this. And this one is really narrow. So what am I going to do with this one? It's also a lot thicker. I was thinking of... Um, Snipping it, putting a tiny little bit of fabric down the side and an eyelet and making it a little book charm. 
or something like that. Anyway, let me move this out. Yeah, so ink it. Don't forget to ink this top edge before you glue it down because that's what I kept doing. And then I end up with these little guys. I really like them. I love how grungy, grungy they look. And I'm sure you can decorate your little booklet a lot fancier. I just did a stamp because it's easy and I'm lazy. But um, I didn't want to really glue anything on because then when you, you know, you put it in and out of your little pockets, it gets caught. Anyway, snazz them up a bit. Um, if you don't make them grungy, something like some lace along there, little vintagey photo in the window, whatever. But um, anyway, I just wanted to use up those little bits from the last project and always happy to <laughs> get rid of book pages and envelopes. Oh my gosh, I've got way too many. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.